I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and recently we went to see a movie called After Death which is a new release from Angel Studios and it takes a look at what happens after we die through the experiences of people who have had NDEs or near-death experiences. So wow yeah it is definitely interesting definitely thought-provoking. So of course we wanted to come on and do a review for you. November is the month dedicated to the holy souls, so it felt like the perfect time to see this movie, like the perfect time to do some reflecting on our own lives and on what comes next. Okay, so going into the movie, we really didn't know very much about near-death experiences. We don't know anyone who has had one, and surprisingly, we really haven't read any books about them. So we were really curious, what would this movie be like? So these experiences are a pretty controversial topic, and we knew that. So we weren't really sure what to expect. Was it going to be scary? Was it going to be hokey? It could really go either way. But we'll say up front that this movie was absolutely fascinating. It surprised us a few times and was very hopeful and very reassuring. So the movie starts off with the story of Dr. Michael Sobum, a cardiologist, who early on in his career said he had never met anyone who had an NDE. So he was very skeptical of these stories. He thought they were bogus and he set out on a journey to debunk them all. So he started talking to his fellow doctors and was surprised to hear them say that yeah I've had patients who have experienced this you know it's a very real thing. So that spurred him to get going and do further research. So in the movie, he shares what his investigations have turned up. And we also get to meet and hear from several people who have survived near-death experiences, which was super interesting. You get to hear what it was like for them and how their lives changed after this event. So the movie is classified as a documentary. You get to hear from different doctors and scientists and different authors who've written about near-death experiences including Dr. Raymond Moody, who is a pioneer in this field. So you get to hear from just all different angles and different sources. So then you might be wondering, if this movie is a documentary, then who should go see it? Who is the target audience? I will tell you up front that this is not a family-friendly movie night entertainment type of movie. Probably you want to pick something else for family movie night. But if you are curious about death, you just definitely want to see this one. It gives you a lot to think about. Or if you're someone who is afraid of dying, this movie can help lay your fears to rest. Everyone who's had a near-death experience says they're no longer afraid to die. What they experienced with Jesus was so incredible that they are no longer scared and they would go back to him in a heartbeat. So it's very reassuring. This would be a fun one to go see with like your Bible study group or maybe a youth group of older teenagers because you could go see it and then, I don't know, go have pizza or something. And I'm sure you would have some amazing discussions afterwards. However, as we said, this movie is definitely not for children and probably not even for your more sensitive teenagers. So if you go to see it, and we hope you do, there are just a few things to know before you go. There are several trigger topics in this movie, obviously accidents, trauma, and death, but also suicide and child loss, so be aware of that. There are also graphic images in this movie, and by graphic we don't mean like lewd, we mean just really intense. You have accident scenes, trauma, you have blood, people in the hospital recovering from injuries, you have surgery scenes. So if you are a person who likes to go and watch brain surgery movies on YouTube, just know you're, you are not going to have a problem with this movie. But if you get crazy around the sight of blood and things like that, you might want to skip seeing this movie in theaters and wait till it comes out on streaming platforms and watch it at home so you can fast forward. There was one other thing about the movie to be aware of, and it's not the fault of the movie. It's more of a problem with me, so I want to mention it. There's a lot of motion in this movie, and I suffer from motion sickness. I can make myself sick just by scrolling too fast on my computer. So this movie has a lot of action. It has a lot of swooping over beautiful mountains and soaring up to heaven and zooming in for amazing close-ups. So I'm watching it, I'm taking it all in, loving it, and after about 30 minutes, I feel like, 
you know what? You know, I don't feel so good. You know, I hope I'm not going to get sick. And I couldn't figure out what is wrong with me. And then I realized it's the motion. So what I did was I just took a deep breath. And then whenever those motion scenes started happening, I would close my eyes and just listen instead of watch. And that solved the problem. I was good for the rest of the movie. But just be aware of that. But of course, there was plenty that we did love in the movie. We each had a different favorite story. So mine was about a surgical resident who was helping perform surgery on a woman with a brain aneurysm. So I won't go into a bunch of detail, but she had a near-death experience during this surgery. And afterwards, while he was talking to her in recovery, she was able to tell him details about her surgery that she couldn't have possibly ever known. So he was very shocked by this and kind of creeped out by it. So this was a little bit more lighthearted when he describes his reaction to hearing her story. It was really kind of funny. My favorite story was of a man who had not been living a very good life. And when he was in the hospital dying, he had an NDE and it wasn't a good one. <laughs> Actually, demons came to get him. And so he said, as soon as he realized like, hey, wait, wait a minute, you're demons. This is, this can't be right. He called on the name of Jesus and Jesus came and rescued him. So of course the man was ecstatic and so thankful. And then Jesus said, but you know what, dude, you're not done here. You're going to have to go back to your body. And the man said, fine, whatever you save me, Jesus, I will do whatever you want. Just give me something that I can do for you in return when I get back. So Jesus told him to go back and to love the people around him. And he started arguing with Jesus saying, no, give me something real to do. Give me something that will save the world. And Jesus just looked at him and said, actually, that is my father's plan to save the world, to have people love each other. Because if you go back and love the people you're with, they will take that love and spread it to others. And that is what is going to change the world. So the man said, okay, you know, he went back and he said from that moment on, his life changed because he had always wondered, what's my purpose? What is there any meaning in life? And then he realized that loving people, that is the biggest job, the biggest purpose, the biggest meaning in all of our lives. Of course, there were some surprises in this movie. And the first one, the biggest one, was that not all near-death experiences are good ones. So like we just mentioned, some people encounter demons when they die. But good news, whenever they realized that and called upon the name of Jesus, he was right there to come get them. We were also surprised to learn that not everyone who has shared their near-death experiences has been well-received, I guess. Some people said they've been persecuted for sharing their stories. One man said that his family thought he was crazy, the story is embarrassing, you gotta stop telling it, and they basically disowned him. So you know, that was really sad. We didn't even think that would be an issue, but it is. So would we recommend this movie? Absolutely, yes. It was so interesting to hear these different people's stories and how they're no longer afraid of dying. They all can't wait to be reunited with Jesus. One man said that there are no human words to adequately describe what it's like to be with him. When they say that they died and saw a bright light, that light is Jesus. And good news, there was a woman who was able to confirm mm -hmm. for us that yes, when you die, Jesus indeed does come to judge you and review your life with you. She said he took her through every word and every action that she had ever done and showed her how the effects of those actions and words radiated out and affected other people over years and years. So, wow. So it really makes you think. And of course, there's lots of other cool stuff in this movie that we could talk about, but we don't want to spoil it. We went to see this movie with a group of friends. And then afterwards, much to our surprise, one of them said, hey, you know what? My grandma had a near-death experience once. So we all looked at her and said, really? Was it like what we just saw in the movie? And she said, oh yeah, grandma said, you know, she saw the bright light, she saw Jesus, she saw friends and family. She was so happy, the whole nine yards. So there you go, confirmed by grandma, we're good. So we loved this movie, and as we mentioned in the beginning, it's a perfect reflection on life and death for the month of November. So we think that Angel Studios has given us another winner, so if you've seen it, let us know what you thought. 
And if you've ever had a near-death experience and would like to share that with us, we would love to hear it. So let us know down in the comments. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.